So total spoiler alert for those of you who want to experience the life and death expansion pack for yourself. But if you're like me, you, you are consuming all things the Sims for life and death. And so this won't bother you. This is a complete list, including the images of all the items coming with create a sim and build by mode from the new expansion pack. This was an article that was posted on the Sims community info on October 22nd. And this is information that was provided on Twitter by Simatically. So take that with a grain of salt. Usually these are pretty accurate, but this is a full catalog preview of the creative sim assets and build by objects. If you do not want spoilers, do not watch the rest of this video, but we're going to hop into it. So starting with creative sim, there's 150 new items that are coming with the life and death expansion pack. I'm gonna blow it up and make it a little bit bigger because I'm super curious. So it looks like we have a couple full body costumes, like an all white suit. Um, we have the grim outfits so that are colored with trim and then plain. A lot of one, like suits that looks like the inheritance lawyer outfit. Maybe there's a male and a female version. These are the new hairs. Kids are getting a couple. Um, that dress with the hoodie on it from the trailer. I like this with the puffy sleeve top. Looks like infants are getting a new dress. Toddlers are getting a crow or a raven outfit. Infants are getting onesies and sleepwear with little ghosts on them. Very Victorian era look here. I'm not sure what they're going for. I'm not sure of the significance of the costume. The adults seem to get get one. The kids seem to get one and the teens seem to get one, the children. So I don't know what they're dressing up as a crow for. Maybe it's for one of these festivals. The gauge earrings, the runny eyeliner, which is ironic because we got another different runny eye makeup as a pre-order bonus from Lovestruck. But now we're getting it in the base game with life and death. Uh, new sunglasses, a new bathing suit. It looks like there's not a variation that doesn't have the puffy like attached cover up thing, which I'm not 100% sure what that is. Um, but I like a, the mixture. It's everything's definitely darker. We got a lot of reds, a lot of greens, you know, a lot of fallish colors, but overall pretty cute on this page. Let's see what the other section had. So this has a few more dresses for all ages, some spooky lipstick, a necklace, a lot of hairs for kids, which is nice. Um, more outfits. I'm not sure what this death mask is. Tons of hairs. Looks like guys got quite a bit too. I'm not sure what this is here. Um, but like a braided hairstyle for the gals. The men's hair, they seem to struggle with it. Um, I like this. This little comb over and the nervous subject style hair. But the rest of it, they seem like they just don't know what to do with hairstyles anymore. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, there's so much inspiration. Like, this is a cute the sweater with the vest. That's cute for men. I think we have a variation of this from Snowy Escape. I think they need some new inspiration on Create a Sim for sure, though. Like, what is this? What is this ghost cover up? Like, what's going on? Who said that was cute? Why? <laughs> you know, like, I don't, don't know where they're going for their inspiration for sure. And then looking over the build by items, it's going to be over 180 new items with the mixture of, of course, exterior items, windows, doors, and anything you need to make a funeral event. Um, I'm sure there are other items that are locked. They may have to be unlocked. Like, you know, if you host a good funeral event, you'll unlock something. But these are just the basic ones for right now. So a ton of windows, another rocking chair, a new crib or bassinet for infants, which is cute. A lot of decor. Um, you know, of course, tombstones, shelving, benches, another swing set, lights, candles, uh, bookends, all these couches and furniture that look kind of like modern, another bed, a canopy bed, desks, um, foot lockers, another tub, a um, roundish tub. That's interesting. Nothing really stands out to me except for this. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a little tinted room that someone can go into. Maybe that's a part of the tarot card experience. Not 100% sure. This is a wallpaper here with like ravens around the moon. 
another stuff plushie. This is page two. Um, a lot of kitchen stuff, bar stools, another shower, a fence. This is some of the rundown, like patches in the wall, holes, another cannon. I guess we're getting a funeral cannon this time. We got cannons that originally came with, I want to say growing together, it was like a baby shower cannon. I think one came with seasons also, but this is like our third cannon. There's the different coffins and graves, a chandelier, a lot of like broken holes. This is the pet crow. I guess it's going to be in build by another swing set, the journal that you can do your bucket list goals in the plaque, the tarot cards, I guess perfumes or liquors and more lights. It's interesting. I mean, it's not my favorite build by for sure. I wish we had. Now, this is interesting. This picture frame with flowers in front of it. I wish we could put a real picture in it. Not clear if we can. Um, no ghost sign. That's interesting. Um, I'm I'm liking it, but it's not my favorite build by for sure. I think I haven't really enjoyed a build by since like high school years or for rent. These new build buys are just kind of meh. But I do see some usefulness in the items, definitely for funerals. Definitely going to work with the new world and the pre-made lots. But let me know in the comments below what you think of these new build, buy, and create a sim items. We're getting a ton of stuff, but I don't know if any of it really stands out. You know what I mean? And some of it's so reminiscent of cottage living and paranormal stuff pack. It's like, it doesn't really seem original to this pack either. But let me know in the comments what you think.